to someone who teaches other people uh, like this, uh, as you've done, because uh, as, I, as I mentioned, uh, for five years, I watched Maharishi Mahesh Yogi teaching and, and all the people, and he gave and gave and gave and all the people around were taking, 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 you know, and, and it's a, a very interesting pressure on the personality. I was wondering, since you have a sense of humor, whether that's what helps you, you know, resist this pressure of everybody asking of you these questions, just like you, you, you said about others. How do you, how do you react to that? Uh, I don't see any pressure because, uh, <laughs> let me put it this way, because when I'm, uh, I'm very involved with every life around me, not just humans, every kind of life around me, I'm very absolutely involved with whatever I'm doing. So I don't have a certain breadth of mind, this is a great advantage I have. The breadth of my mind is the same as the point of a needle, that is the breadth of my mind. So in a given moment, my mind is always like a needle, never like one vast piece of mind. Well, like it's… my mind is not a universe, my mind is just a point of a needle. That's why it mm -hmm. penetrates into anything <laughs> that it sees. So I don't have points, you know, there is no pressure. You can't put pressure on a point of a needle because it's so small <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's… Uh, that's a way to solve the problem. A lot of people, of course, uh, you know, they, they're under too much pressure if they stand on a stage and six people are watching them, right? And it's, it's already too much pressure on their personality. See, because they're, so, they're very big people, they can take pressure. Because I'm like a point of a needle that people don't even know where I am. It's a very interesting way to put it because the experience of, of, of uh, enlightenment is supposed to broaden you out, but you say it focuses you down to the point of a needle. I... No, uh, I don't know whoever said broadening. But enlightenment, in, in yogic uh, culture, growth means dissolution. Growth does not mean getting bigger in your size. Our idea of growth is dissolution, because if you dissolve your limited persona, then you are as vast as the universe, mm -hmm. because you are nothing. Because you are nothing, in some way you are everything. So I don't have the pressure of carrying any knowledge in my head, <laughs> because I don't carry anything, when I walk on the street, I'm totally empty in my head. So I never experience any pressure because there is no knowledge in me, just a sharp sense of perception at that given moment. The same thing if you ask me another time, I may say something different because whatever it is at that moment, I'm not carrying knowledge, so there is no pressure. If you have knowledge, you'll have to protect it, you'll have to defend it. I'm not defending anything, I'm all the time ridiculing all this <laughs> You know, you sound like Socrates, you know, he, he said, I, I don't, I don't, uh, you know, the one thing that I know, and there's a story about Socrates that, that you know, uh, the Delphic oracle um, told somebody from Athens that the smartest, the wisest man in Athens was a man named Socrates. So the man went back and found Socrates and said, the Delphic Oracle said, you're the wisest man in, in uh, Athens. And Socrates said, that can't be true. Um, but he thought about it, and, and after 10 years, he said, well, it might be true. Everyone else thinks they know what they know, and I'm the only one who knows I don't know what I know. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I think Socrates was an Indian <laughs>